what's going on everybody it's your boy mystic wolf and welcome back to another video and today i just decided you know what it's been a while let me you know show off what your boy has been collecting you know in the archives as of late you know what i'm saying since it has been a while since i've recorded my last one in, which you guys can you know check out at the top of me right there um so you know yeah i just decided you know Summertime is coming to a close and I'm about to leave out of here in like a couple of days. And I just figured, you know what, let's record one last video for the one time. Because once I start recording, when I get to college, yo, y'all going, whew, the video's going to be fire. Because it'll at least be a different environment. I get to, you know, showcase different things that I'm doing throughout the day. And, you know, just new content that, you know, you guys will be watching. So, looking forward to that. But anyway, let's just get on to it. I know you guys want to know what I've been collecting as far as CDs or vinyl is concerned. You know, I don't have a lot, but you know, I have enough to kind of make a video out of it. So let's do this thing. So first on the list, we got Abel Tesfaye, AKA The Weeknd with Be Behind The Madness. Love this record, man. Um, this record was really honestly, I won't say ahead of its time. It's personally my favorite a Weeknd project. Um, it has songs like, you know, The Hills, Can't Feel My Face, which has a nice MJ feel to it, which y'all know, I love MJ. So, you know, I guess that kind of, you know, I have like a lot of sentimental attachment to it. Uh, you know, tell your friends, real life, uh, as you are. This one, this album has a lot of hits on it. Um, even freaking uh, Shameless. You know, that little guitar, uh, that little um, acoustic ballad. Really, just good stuff on this record, man. Really, really good stuff. Abel knew what he was doing. He knew what he had to do. He got it done. Um, and yeah, it's just easily one of my favorite albums from him. Next we got is Kissland. Man, Kissland is. The production on there is amazing. It's absolutely killer. Like, oh, like 2021, I was like, you know, again to, you know, listen to Able or whatever. I was going back to his back catalog and bruh, oh my God. I don't know why it just took me until now to just get the CD, but you know, hey, better late than ever. But yeah, I love the production on here, especially on Kisslin and like the first two tracks, especially like at, on Adaptation and the and Professional and just uh, Live For Your Love. Oh, it's just great songs man from the weekend bro like honestly this man got the voice the production is very live and very like vivid it's just literally just paints the picture for like when he was like in japan or tokyo or wherever he, he was at the time of recording uh next thing is we got after hours this is the target version cd version um i don't know just figured just picking this up because it's one of my favorite albums of 2020 and you know to after hours is just such a breath of fresh air just going back to a 60s 70s pop uh type of aesthetic and i think this is the weekend's you know stronger projects uh, it was very critically acclaimed you know he got to do the super bowl you know playing most of the songs from it and just other medleys from his other projects and you know i just really am happy for what the weekend is going to provide next especially since the dawn is coming and he already released a song as, as the time of this recording so you know i'm happy for the weekend seeing what he's going to do next but yeah great record really great record next we got is denzel curry with zoo it's easily one of my favorite Denzel Curry projects. Uh, I don't like it nearly much as Taboo or Imperial since those are more concept, more focused drones. But these songs, you know, don't get it twisted. You know, these songs are just as great, just as amazing, just as bangers as his last project. These are just more so bangers. These are more so catchy songs to just kind of put on repeat, you know, for the summertime or whatever. Um, but yeah, you know, Denzel Curry kills it on here. You know, it's not as strong as the other two projects, but you know what? It has great writing, has some funny lines, and you know the beats on here go wild man i mean if you know denzel curry you know he's gonna bring that florida and that jet energy to it so shout out to, shout out to denzel curry next we got is cleo soul with rose in the dark um man i don't know how i didn't i missed this last year but man if i had found this out last year this would have easily been one of my favorite projects of that of last year but yeah man she's fantastic if you guys ever listen to like solange or like i don't know leland the havis or erica badu you know they talk about self-discovery they talk about self-love self-care reflections optimism just trying to find yourself you know kind of just like being in a time of your life where you're kind of stressed out and kind of like reflecting on all the things that you could have done better and now you're kind of moving forward it's a very sit back laid chill very nice uh neo soul album so if you guys are looking for something like that this album's probably the right one for you, so shout out to Cleo. So uh, next we got is Hayes Coyote with Mood Valiant or Valiant, I'm not really sure. But yo, for a band called Hayes Coyote, they live up to their name because it took six years to actually get this project done. And I don't know why, but eh, probably pandemic or other stuff kind of slowed that down. But 
love this project one of my favorite albums of this year actually uh good songs such as like you know so, uh stone lavender uh, red room even like uh we go gentle like these are songs that are just nice alternative jazz a little bit of funk as well too cuts um and you know it's just an enjoyable record man like i got some slow burners but i got some nice like feel good funky uh cuts that you can just groove to and just get your body moving it's a really good project quality project shout out to my uh highest coyote for it uh next um if we have runner jewels with rtj4 haven't uh seen my top 10 favorite albums of 2020 you go and check it out good video if i do say so myself um but yeah it's a quality project you know a lot of political and social issues rarely uh hits on this project the production is fantastic uh features like from forget from pharrell uh, like just and just you know a lot of good songs off of this project that are just bangers and honestly this is an album that was for that time period man when black lives matter thing was going on it's really a powerful project and the last thing we got is call me forget lost with tyler the creator man you know if you got this box set you got the shirt the poster and this cd right here this cd has fishtail um which actually replaces uh, safari the last track off of this project which i have actually grown to like you know um i kind of prefer safari a little bit but fishtail is growing on me and i kind of like uh fishtail because you know it's kind of like picking back up like with um Massa, where like Tyler's kind of being a little bit introspective, kind of going back to like, yo, this is what got me here, and now I'm here. Music got me this far, and you know, everyone kind of made fun of me, and now look at me, I'm I'm glowing, I'm, I'm thriving, and I'm striving, and I'm reaching my, my my best version of myself, as you should, Tyler, as you should. Um, but as far as CDs, that's all I really got for CDs. Like I said, this is a pretty short video, but I also got two vinyls, new two vinyls that I actually got, which is Brent Files, Fuck the World. And we got Victoria Monet with, um, with Jaguar. Two great EPs from last year that I had copped for, uh, this year. You know, really great projects, man, for both of them. They are fantastic artists, man. Great neo soul artists that you need to be looking after if you have not heard of them already. But yeah, this is the sleeve, you know, for her uh, vinyl. This is standard black vinyl. I didn't get the green one because I already got this one. Uh, actually funny story about this vinyl actually um i had purchased it right but i had purchased it to a wrong house right because i'm not gonna tell y'all where i like actually live but you know i actually put in like the wrong numbers for my house so you know it was supposed to go to my house but it went to another house but then when i you know looked at my thing i was like oh shoot this is to another house i have to skate all the way to that house to freaking get it and thank god they didn't open it or no one got it or anything like that it was still at the doorstep so i had to go and get it you know and come back to my house but yeah that was a pretty funny story with that final <laughs> that i actually um uh inputted the wrong uh the wrong address to that my house so yeah that was that was actually pretty funny but yeah those are both the vinyls you know the uh red and spl uh, black splattered one are really nice nice touch to burn but yeah that's pretty much uh, the video you know just one very short quick video just wanted to get it out there because you know it has been a while since i made videos like this and uh yeah that's pretty much it let me guys know if you guys enjoyed the video if you guys been in, you know collecting as of late you know i know 2020 has been kind of slow but things have been pushed uh, put, uh have been picking up as of late i do say so myself and uh yeah hopefully by the time uh you know next week or two week more weeks will uh be concerned you know you guys will see more content you know i'll probably do more stuff with my friends you know be back on campus and just be new ground new faces just new environment just new everything so yeah i guess this is probably the last one video that you'll see of my house for a minute so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like comment i'm tired man <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Peace.